The Infinity Portal is an online SaaS-based platform that allows you to technically administer all of your Checkpoint products. The User Center is the platform that holds your licenses and products that you've purchased. The two are incredibly important to maintain your Checkpoint estate. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create both and synchronize them together for the best Checkpoint experience. Let's get started. Head over to portal.checkpoint.com and if you don't already have an account, click don't have an account, register here. First, you'll be asked to set up an account name. This is going to be the name of your Checkpoint tenant. This generally seems to stick and not something you want to change in the future. Below that, you're going to be asked to fill in all the credentials needed to set up your own administrative account. More admins can be added later, but for now, let's just start with the first one. Fill in the relevant details of your business and select the region of your choice. At the bottom, accept the terms and conditions, prove that you're not a robot and click next to get the tenant created. Once created, you'll be sent an email, which you'll then go to and accept the invitation. And this will activate your account. Select a new password. Pro tip, we would recommend that you integrate this with one of the many supported multi-factor authentication systems to ensure that your login to this Infinity Portal is safe and secure. Now, to integrate the Checkpoint Infinity Portal with your user center, you need to have at least one Checkpoint product enabled. The examples will be almost identical for every solution, but for now, we're just going to quickly look at Harmony Endpoint. So click the waffle in the left hand corner, select Harmony Endpoint, select the terms and conditions and click try now. This will set up the Harmony Endpoint service in the back end. Now completed, in the top right hand corner, head over to your username, click the down arrow and global settings. On the left hand side, select service and contracts. Automatically, the system will add a evaluation license for you, but we don't want that. We want the real purchase license and we want this to be automatically synchronized with your sales account, which is called the user center. If you don't already have a user center, we're now going to go through the process on how to create one. Head over to checkpoint.com and click in the top right corner, sign in. At the bottom, click sign up now and fill in your personal details to create your own personal user center account. Fill in the details relevant to yourself and accept the terms and conditions and submit. Once successfully created, head back over to your emails and verify the account that you've just created. Create a username and password for your account. This is a personal user center account for yourself. What we now need to do is create an account inside this for your organization. To do this, head over to and click on the menu assets and info and click my accounts In here you'll see you currently don't have any accounts so we're going to create a user center account and we're going to put in here my company name for me that is manning enterprises now i fill in the relevant information about my organization it is actually important to fill in the details such as your address and your business's url so that we can help communicate with you better in the future once done click create an account and the all important user center ID has now been created. This user center ID is the central point that we that use to track all of your purchases inside a checkpoint. So you now have two separate accounts. You have a technical portal and your commercial portal for keeping hold of your information. At this point, your user center is empty. Once you've purchased your license from checkpoint, it'll be added to your user center. Once that's been completed, we can integrate these two platforms together. So let's quickly head back over to our Infinity Portal. I'm going to go back to that Services and Contracts page and then click in the top right hand corner and authenticate with the details I just created from the previous User Center account. I pop those details in and it will see any associated User Center accounts I have in place. I'm going to click that one and click Finish. You will now see that the evaluation license that I created has now been replaced with an active purchase license that I have in place. And that's it. In the future, any renewals, any future purchases will be automatically added to the system and you don't have to make any changes. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or reach out and contact your local SE.